so today I want to do just kind of a get ready with me sort of situation. I just haven't filmed in a while and I haven't just like played with makeup in a second so that's exactly what I want to do today. I just went on my Facebook and just asked people like I want to film what color scheme should I do and a lot of people said green and I haven't done green in a really long time and I just picked up this gorgeous like just poop brown lip from Milani. This is in the shade Covet and so I thought like maybe like musty kind of dirty mossy greens with this brown lip could be really really cool so that's kind of what I'm thinking so we'll know we'll see how it turns out but if you guys want to tag along and see how this ends up then just keep watching. Can I just say that I realize how ironic it is that I'm drinking out of a Dickies barbecue pit cup and I'm a vegetarian? <laughs> I promise I did not eat there. This was just left from a friend's mom and I just have a giant cup of grape juice because, or not grape juice, grapefruit juice. I hate grape juice. Ugh. We're gonna start with eyes today because we're dealing with some dark colors and a foiled shadow, so I feel like there might be a little bit of fallout. So first thing I'm going to do is just prime my eyes a little bit with a t with Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I've been loving this stuff. I love how fat the wand is. Like, why don't makeup brands come out with, like, bigger wands like that? You know, I've never seen a concealer wand like that. And I just think it's so convenient because you can just, like, boop, 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 and go. And all of this stuff. It spreads out so nicely and just works so well. Okay, and you really don't need to set this stuff, like it already feels kind of set, but I'm just gonna brush over it with my setting brush, just with whatever is left on my brush, just to make sure. Okay, let's break into these shadows. So the first color I'm gonna take is Dirty Martini, which is right here from Makeup Geek, and we're just going to take that. This is a Sigma E40, and we're just, do I want to do a halo eye? No. Mm, maybe. Oh, God. The times like these are when I wish that you guys were like all, like I had all of your guys' phone numbers and I could just like mass text you guys. Like I know that I could Snapchat you guys, but Snapchat takes a while because not everybody checks their stories and like I wouldn't blame if you just skipped right through my story, you know. I just wish you guys could all just be here so you can be like, yes, do a halo eye or no, do a regular smoky eye. Like, ugh. Okay, so I'm just building that up and then I'm going to go in with, what is it? Oh, wait. Oh, so the one I just used is high tea. This one is dirty martini. So first one I used, high tea. Now I'm going to go in with Dirty Martini, which is a little bit more of a true green color. The other one was a lot dirtier of a green. It looks like dishwater green, if that's a color. Oh, got a little crazy out there. I'm just gonna build this color up. I want it to still be kind of like earth tones, but obvious green. I don't want like an alphaba green. You know, I want like an earth tone green. Okay, then, <laughs> I'm going to take my Makeup Geek Soft Dome Brush, which is just a little kind of dense but still blendy brush. I'm going to go in with the shade Enchanted Forest, which is this beautiful, like, deep green shade. I'm going to pick up a generous amount of that, and I'm going to start packing that in my outer corner. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do a regular smoky eye and not... A halo but if you want to do a halo eye go for it just put this color on the outside and the inside oh look how beautiful that is I'm gonna take my morphe m507 and I'm gonna just take a black my favorite black is from the Kat Von D palette so that's what I'm gonna use but whatever black you have handy will work perfect I just don't, I feel like something's up with my Makeup Geek Corrupt because it doesn't work. Like, it's not pigmented. I don't know if I've had it for too long or something, but it, it, it's like bad. It doesn't work and it didn't used to be like that. So, I don't know, but I'm just going to keep my eyes open and just tuck that black right in the crease. So, just keep my eyes open so I can see exactly where the hollows are. We will zoom you guys in a little bit. Keep my eyes open and just tucking it right in the crease. This way we still get the grain below and above, but we get some more depth too. How do you guys think my new camera sounds? 
I think it sounds a little muffled and weird. So I bought myself just like, I just went on Amazon and bought like a $30 external microphone. It said like the reviews are fine, but my camera doesn't have something to plug it into. So what I would have to do is set up my microphone separately, record the audio separately, and then edit it onto my video, which is just kind of inconvenient and like a little bit more work. So if you guys also agree that the video like sounds a little weird or like if you have to turn up your computers or your phones or whatever when you're watching my new videos with my setup, um, just let me know because I will totally take that extra step and use my microphone that I ordered. But I can't tell if it's just me and if it's just different from my old videos or if it actually, like if I could actually improve the sound quality. You know what I mean? I might do a video, like maybe my next video, because I don't have batteries for it right now, otherwise I would have tried it with this video. But maybe I'll try it with the um, microphone and see if it's that much of an improvement. But I just want to know, like, do you guys think my videos sound muffled? Because whenever I edit it, it just sounds, it just sounds kind of muddy, you know what I mean? So am I being crazy or do you guys hear that too? Okay, and then I'm just taking a little bit more dirty martini. And just going above that black in the crease. This is gonna be schmucky. Okay, then I'm gonna take the Makeup Geek Shadow in Typhoon. This is actually a duochrome pigment, but it acts like a foiled shadow. It's really, really cool. So I'm just gonna take that with my finger. And we're just gonna pop that on the lid. This is so freaking pretty. And I'm going to take it all the way across the lid and overlap it with that dark green that we put on. This is one of my favorite shades. I almost never use it because I just don't do greens that often for some reason. Probably now with like red hair I feel like either The Little Mermaid or Christmas. But <laughs> I feel like I should because I love these shades so much. Okay, then I'm just going to go back in with my Morphe M507 and just clean up the crease and clean up just the outer corner just so, just to kind of dust away any of the reflective bits so that way we get some good depth and we don't have it shiny in the crease where we want to create depth because shininess brings a light, you know, to it and we want to push things back, you know. Shading 101. Then I'm just going to take a little bit more black just on the very, very outer V. Just like the very, very end. Just right there. Right there. So we're going to call that good for the eyes right now. And then let's move on to face right quick. Today I'm going to be using, again, I feel like I've used this so much. Um, this is the NYX Total Control Foundation. Let's zoom you back up a little bit. But this is the NYX Total Control uh, Drop Foundation. I've been using this a lot and I still can't get a feel for it. I need to wear it out more, but I wore this once to school and my I only have like two classes. So my, my school day is only like three or four hours long and when I got in the car, my makeup just looked terrible terrible but I also had horribly horribly combination skin I like didn't moisturize enough and it was really really cold that week and I was dehydrated so like right here was like oily but my forehead was like flaky so my skin was bad so I'm scared to use it again to go out because I don't want it to look bad again but I do need to try it again to make sure that it was the foundation that was messing up and not just my skin so but for now, I really do like the coverage. The color is freaking perfect. Um, so far, I do really like it. I just don't really know for longevity-wise or like lasting power how much I like it. But I mean, I'll just keep giving it a try. Do it for the tube. I'll wear it out. If my makeup looks like crap, then I'll complain about it on Snapchat or something. The only thing is you do have to use quite a bit of this foundation to get it to full coverage. I mean, it feels really, really lightweight, so it doesn't feel like heavy or cakey on your skin when you do layer it up, but you do kind of have to layer it up. Okay, and then one more time, I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and just conceal and highlight. 
This stuff has a very, very strong smell. And I can't tell if I like it or not. Oh, and I'm in the shade Light Sand for those of you guys wondering. And I like it because it's a good undertone. It's nice and yellow, but it's not too dark for my skin. Like, I can still highlight with it. Sometimes, I feel like concealers, if they're light, they're too white or too pink. It's hard finding a good, like, pale yellow concealer. This stuff is just so insane with the with coverage. Like... It does not play. Okay, and then I'm going to set my under eyes with my e.l.f. HD powder. Mm, I don't like the way that looks. I'm actually going to set my under eyes with my NYX contour palette, and I'm going to take these two shades. Mostly the cream shade with a little bit of the yellow shade. Is it just me, or do sometimes translucent powders like re-emphasize your dark circles like I love the honest beauty powder but I hate it for my under eyes because I feel like translucent powders like take away some of the coverage am I going crazy because like I put on concealer and like everything's covered and then sometimes when I put on translucent powder on top of it it looks like you can see my dark circles again and I'm just like that's not supposed to happen it's not supposed to happen. And then Honest Beauty Powder to set my entire face. Okay, I'm gonna go fill in my brows really quick and then we'll finish the eyes and the face. Okay, let's go. Okay, now I really feel like Ariel. That's okay! Alright, and then I'm just going to highlight my brow bone with Mirage. This is one of my favorite Makeup Geek shades ever. Highly recommend. It's just a beautiful kind of yellowy toned satin shade. Oh, it's so pretty. I thought this would be really, really pretty to set your under eyes with. I should try that sometime. Let's work on the face a little bit. I'm actually just going to use my NYX contour palette. I haven't used it in a hot second. So I'm just going to take this cool tone shade right there. And this is a furless PF3 brush. I love these brushes. They're so nice. I'm just going to give myself a nice, good contour. And I'm going to contour my nose a little bit. I'm actually going to use a smaller brush. The Makeup Geek Chiseled Cheek Brush. More like chiseled nose brush. Oops. I think there might have been a different color on this brush. This is why you need to clean your brushes, ladies and germs. Because then you get harsh nose contours like this to make it look like you have gray on your face. We'll just blend that out. For my bronzer, I'm going to take this Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. I think this is a sample size. One of my friends gave it to me, and I've just been trying it out. This angled brush has been my favorite. It's from the BH Cosmetics BH Chic set. And it is so freaking good. Okay, let's add some bronzer on top of there to make it less crazy cool toned. And then blush, I'm going to take Luminoso from Milani. I think, yeah, I want to use the Makeup Geek Highlight in Electrify. It's a beautiful kind of buttery you like buttery white shade that reflects yellow. So I think that would be really, really cool with the green. Oh. Oh my gosh, I hope this is picking up because it's so pretty. And I just like rubbing, like kind of blending my highlight in with my blush. And keep it so. Actually, I just saw this, and I'm just going to be a little bit extra and add the Wet n Wild Highlighting Gold Bar on top. Oh my god. So much skin texture, but it don't matter because my highlight's on fleek. Oh, this gold highlight is everything. Okay, time for lips. So this is Milani's Covet. This is giving me life. 
life. Long live the doo-doo lips. I love it. I, I've seen so much hate going around about brown lips and I'm just over it because I just freaking love it. And if you love it too, just do it. For my lower lash line, I'm going to take Enchanted Forest again. This is on a furless, oh no, the numbers, oh, PE1 brush. And I'm just going to focus this on the outer corner. I'm just kind of pressing my brush on the outer corner of my eye and just going back and forth. Kind of starting to connect it with the kind of wing of the shadow. I'm just being kind of messy with this. You guys know how I do my under eye highlights. Highlights. My under eye shadow. Okay, and then this is one of my favorite eyeliners ever. I just never ever get a chance to use it. This is the NYX Slide On Glide On Stay On and definitely a turn on. That is way too long of a name. NYX, get your shit together. Um, but this is the NYX Slide On Glide On pencil in tropical green. It's so pretty. It's like this beautiful rich metallic green. So I'm just gonna... Ow. This needs to be sharpened. Ow. So I'm putting that on my uh, on my waterline and then smudging it into the roots of my lashes as well. My lower lashes, that is. Oh, this eyeliner is so pretty, I can't. Okay, and then to highlight my inner corners, I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek's Voltage Eyeshadow, which is pretty much just like Electrify, the duochrome highlighter, but this is a duochrome shadow. So it's like a buttery white with a yellow reflect. It's literally, I feel like they just made a giant pan of this for the highlighter. If you don't want to buy the highlighter, just buy this eyeshadow and boom, you got yourself a yellow highlight. But I'm going to wet my brush with my Pixie Makeup Fixie Mist. I'm almost out of this. I feel like I don't like this stuff this that much, but I seem to use it a lot. So maybe I do like it and I'm just being stupid. But I'm just going to load my brush up with this highlight. Just pop it in that inner corner. Yes. Yes. I'm actually going to take a little bit of this wet on my brow button too. Because I think that'll look cool. Let's do some winged liner. So I'm going to take my handy dandy styly stock, hmm, steely style stylus liner. Okay guys, my camera randomly shut off when I was, what was that last thing I was doing? I forgot what the last thing I, I was doing was. I was too busy jamming out in the middle of it. But anyways, my camera just turned off so I just figured I'd finish up the look real quick with some lashes and some lower lash mascara. These are the Ardell Double Wispies. They're super, super pretty and really comfortable if you're looking for some good lashes. But anyways, this is the entire look and I'm really, really stoked on how it turned out. I think it's really fun and colorful but you can still pull this off for a lot of different occasions. I don't know why I have to like debrief my makeup looks. I feel like everybody debriefs their makeup looks after they, you, you guys saw, you saw. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, super, super happy to be back and filming for you guys. I miss you guys so freaking breaking much. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave because we're almost at 20,000 subscribers. Oh my god. And stay tuned because I am going to do a giveaway at 20,000 subscribers. I'm so excited. So I'll give you guys more details. There'll be a whole video on that when the time comes. But anyways, that's all I have for you guys. How many times can I say anyways? Let's get it in one more time. Anyways, I'm going to sign off now. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!